First time I saw Loaded Lux was uh, uh, I saw him verse Miles. That was my first time seeing Lux, and I I was over impressed with the level of pin game he had. That was my first time I think I really sat down and saw. No, 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 no. Let me back that up. Or was it Mook first? I don't know. First time I saw him, he was great. So I, I, I think Miles is more memorable for me. The Miles thing was incredible to me. And like when I saw him doing that at that level, I was over impressed. That was my first time seeing him. And you know, coming from where we come from, watching them was like exciting to us. Cause they were, you know, St. Louis, they had us confused with so many different people because they heard Nelly sound. But it's more people not like Nelly than it is like Nelly. Yeah, so, you know, for us, we related to them more than anything. You know what's crazy? My first conversation with Lux, I didn't give a fuck about Lux like that, battling him, nah. Like, our first conversation, we, um, he reached out. I was throwing battle events back home. And he reached out about Holla, he loved Holla. And I never even rapped with him about nothing I did, but he called around and found out who I was. Once he found out who I was, then he was like, hey, I heard that you like that. I'm like, yeah, that's why they show up, but I ain't here for that. I was trying to get him to come to St. Louis and make some money off of him. Yeah, but but it's just like now, his number was way too motherfucking high. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wanted some wild shit. Nigga asked me for a charger, too. I was like, hey, dude, on drugs, but that, that was just my thing. You know what I'm saying? So that was my first interaction with him. You know, because when we came up in 2009 to battle, we were supposed to be sheep. They just didn't know these sheep had gold teeth and fang that we gonna fight. We were supposed to be cattle for them. That's what we were supposed to be, but nah, that ain't how that worked. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. He asked for some wild shit too. It was like, I, I, I'm leaning on $3,500 or something, and the room held 150 people or some wild shit like that. Like, but you know, that was just him. You know, I knew he was crazy then. But you know, I, you know, keep it real. The first time I met him though, I saw the aura of special on him though. You know what I'm saying? He had an aura when he came in our room of special. And that's when like, I mean, he's special. I ain't gonna even do that to him, you know? You know, for us, like, they they make the consumers feel they heavy. We don't see that. Cause we actually get out here and we gotta do this back to back against great people, back to back to back to back. So he's that to y'all. To us, he's another. They're gods in the stigma of the the consumer. We actually got to go out here and put the work in. So we got to go fight. So we know who like that in a way. They both threats. You know, Mook ain't never lost a round in, until arguably me. You know what I'm saying? So that means he a threat. You know, Lux pin game is phenomenal. That means he a threat, but so is Arsenal, so is Hollow the Don, so is, it's all the same. Like when we, you when you play on our level, back to back, we're not afraid of nothing. We, we don't look at them in the same eyes because it's too many. I've been in front of 55 people, different styles, different animals, man, I'm not worried about dude at all. Like I, it's nothing he can throw at me I can't handle, nothing. Motherfucker, I'm the A-side. If you want to be technical with the shit, it got to make sense. I mean, his last battle was with Arsenal. That didn't kind of work out in his favor as far as with the consumer. Motherfucker, I'm 80-20 on mine with the nigga who just smacked blood all up and down your, your now let me talk my shit now. See, I was trying to do this another way, but I just pulled up on the dude to just beat shit down your leg in his house. So I'm the A-side, motherfucker. I wasn't taking the battle in New York City. No, you gonna come to me. So, but he wasn't opposed to coming to St. Louis. Nah, he wasn't, but I've never battled in Houston either. So suit up i mean yeah but i'm the a-side in this war they the people give him too much praise man like if you got six battles seven battles they should be great you shouldn't get whacked till years it took me two years to fall i came in the game in 09 i didn't fall to till almost the end of 2011 with charlie y'all motherfuckers don't clap for me what the fuck you mean y'all don't clap for me y'all clap for him man suit up like we don't i don't see it like how y'all see it like you know I was, I was, before I battled Mook, I was thankful. And I, you know, I was humble with Mook. And I told him, I said, hey, I appreciate you hopping in the ring. But that's not my fight. I'm not doing that with Lux. 
Because he owe y'all this. He owe this fight. This is, this is something he's owed y'all for seven, eight years. So I, I, I respect out the window. You know what I'm saying? Coin going there, we gonna see who do what. Like all that blessed, can he trick y'all like a motherfucker, man? I'm gonna work that boy, boy. We gonna see. Yeah, we gonna see. You think, hold on, look, look, give me more praise. I'm the first person that got both of them to come outside in eight months. You understand that? Yeah, so so you gotta put me on my own look. You understand? Like, I mean, you know, I think it's warranted. I brought out Mook and Lux in under a year. Y'all can't talk to me at all. And I did this, put out a cold album. Man. I'm, I'm ahead of the curve, man. Anybody y'all like, I've seen them. You wanna keep going? Including the new guy. Hold on, wait a minute. Let's go Arsenal, Disaster, Mook, Lux, Hollow, Surf. You want me to keep going? Yeah. Hitman? What, 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 what the fuck y'all want me to do? What? These are y'all favorite guys, right? Okay, they all seen the guy. And guess what? I arguably have beat every last one of them. Now, now y'all want to debate that? Let's, let, let's debate that. If these are the, the kings, I've arguably beaten every last one of them. Go through the except Lux. But he going to be under the wing, too. So if you, I arguably beat Arsenal, arguably beat Mook, Hollow the Don, uh, Disaster, I, arguably I, nobody can say they beat me. So I mean, what y'all want me to do? This is greatness that you and, you know, like, this is great. I'm not finna sit up and play no games, y'all. This is great. I've been through too much on stage. I've seen too much. I've dealt with hate, adversity. There's nothing you can do to stop me, nothing. I'm the first of a lot of shit. I'm the reason URL got back popping. Let's talk this shit too. Because when I came out, there was no URL. They saw me on the street corner. They first event, I turned down. Understand this. Fight Club asked me, I turned them down. You, you, you're in the presence of great. Don't, don't, don't get fooled by the lights and shit. I'm not. Because when the coin going there, guess what? You got to see me. You got to see me. And every, everybody who, who, who in battle rap, they know what's up. I've dealt with everything you can deal with. Mook and Lux, they fight once every four or five years and sit down and then y'all clap for them. We gotta do this shit back to back. Keep going, no, no, keep going. It's more. Yeah, look, 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 with the, look anytime we do this, when we do the greatest, y'all yeah, mind, bring them all up. I've seen them all. Yeah, so that, that's what's up with me. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's great, I pulled up on them. No matter what, pulled up on them. I'm, I, look, I was, the, I was the first to do a lot of things. Yeah, I'm the first one that even got booed on stage. And what I do, I fought through it. I'm a dog. I'm not. Look, let me. Let's get some shit straight. I'm not a champion, man. I'm a warrior. That's a whole other thing. I'm not what they are. You, you can give them. I'm a warrior. Like that has nothing to do with nothing. I get stabbed. I get up. I push up, and I'm gonna go stab something back. Well, that's the difference between me and them. And that's why they get their ass cracked every time. Because see, let me tell you. I'm gonna not even cut you off. I'm gonna tell you. I use them. Them new guys. I take their hunger, and I learn from them. See. This is what's wrong with battle rap. Battle rappers think you you win and then you sit down. It makes you soft. Boxers, what do boxers do? They spar. They bring in young hungry. Let me see what you got. And then they bring that to their fighter. That's what make me different. I take all them. When they new and hot, let me see what they can do. Oh, he ain't shit. I ain't worried about it. All right, cool. But I learned something from him. I felt this hunger again. I'm not in the same hunger place like they are. They trying to kill for their spot. My spot here. DNA, look, look, look. DNA, K-Shine. I'm, I'm not NWS. I don't give a fuck about either of them. But at the same time, they do this at a high value. Those are the guys you be scared of. You don't be scared of the guy who shoots somebody once and go sit down. You scared of the dude that's out every, on every corner, letting it go on every corner. But the world works in reverse now. But that works in my favor. Just, 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 just wait on it. Just, just wait on it. Like I said, look, before I battle Mook, oh, Mook is gone. Why, why is Mook great to y'all? You ain't saw him get touched. You motherfuckers, y'all stupid. It ain't me. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I, I've done this too many times. I've seen too many greats. I know who with it and who ain't. I see If I see a flaw, I see one. But I fight at a high volume. Y'all don't scare me. You scare these motherfuckers. I ain't with that. I'm from a place where you got to prove who you are. You can't... It, the, listen, in St. Louis, there's no ranking. An 18-year-old will shoot an OG with no problem. So you got to prove who the fuck you are. We don't care if you used to kill 20 years ago. Smoke something now. That's how we live. That's why I don't get impressed by the things that these people get impressed by. Fuck them all. Like, I'm not their, I'm not their buddies or nothing. Suit up. You can see, like, when I'm at events, I don't talk to them. I stay in my own box. Because I, I only fuck with a few of them in real life. 
You know what I'm saying? But nah, y'all ain't like me. Y'all weird. Y'all tweet each other and then, oh, I didn't mean that. Nah, I don't play them games, man. I ain't with all that shit. If it's fuck you, it's fuck you. That's how we live. The toughest people get the hardest road. Like, Lux a house dog to me, man. Like, I don't look at him as a pit bull. He rap good, he put words together good. So does everybody else. So does B-Dot, so does, oh, they all put words together, so. But the, but it's just the how the consumer embraces them. Oh, he's the one, because he don't talk to y'all, because he don't tweet and he don't show up. That's why people, oh, Lux is the god, god of what? You got six battles, I seen all the same people he seen. I seen all the same people he seen, except for, except for uh, Calico. I seen all the same people we seen. And, and Lux has not brought y'all three cold shows. I mean, we gotta go on ratio. We gotta go on probability, homeboy. If you got six shows at home, they should be good. They're not. The fuck? You got like two good shows, man. Come on, man, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, like, I don't know why people don't listen to me, man. I don't never be wrong and shit. In May, I'm, I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna beat shit down his leg. And guess what? It still ain't gonna mean nothing. It's not gonna mean shit. It's gonna be like, oh. Why you say that? Why you, why you say that? Because y'all, because the thing is, they don't want me to win, but they expect me to win. You know what I'm saying? Just because he rap good, so? I rap good. Now, I think as far as putting words together, Lux is probably the most advanced. But I ain't too far behind him if I want to be. But I got a lot of shit he don't have. We gonna find out though. Bet on Lux. I take it. No big thing. What do you, what do you think about Lux's theatrics? Showing I don't care about none of it. To the stage lady, you know. That's fear. That's called fear. Like, see, y'all watch them from chest down. We watch them in the eyes. When he go on stage and he's prolonging and talking, that's a fear. Nervousness. We see it on you. I can smell it on you. Lux know I'm the only, I'm the fight that he can't lose can't lose to me because I'm the thorn in his side. I'm the dog they got to pull up on him. He got to see me. I'm his clubber lane. That's who I am to him. He got to see me. If he don't see me, he's not going to be solidified who the fuck he is. He ran all this time. I'm the one standing in the crowd telling him, you ain't shit. You know you ain't shit. Pull up on me. Pick your fights. Be smart. But now he, he he's, he's ready to fight. So he's going to have to prove that that night. I'm going to be with it. Lux was uh talking this shit. I'm like, Whatever, suit up, Lux. And, um. Hold on, let me ask you this. Yeah. Yeah, start. Exactly. I don't know, some shit like I told him he wasn't shit or something. I don't remember, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason that everybody was laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you see Lux. Yeah. Right? Did he approach you or did you approach him? I don't know, it's always fuck him when I see him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, per se, if. I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know if there was something I did or. I, it's probably something I did. I was eating chicken at the time, so, you know, I probably told him, fuck him, you know, and that's how that started. Us as battle rappers, we know who was who's our hardest fights. We know what's our hardest matchups. He know what I am. He play crazy all he want. He know exactly what I am. He know he got to suit up, because I, I just pulled up on the guy who beat shit down your leg at your highest point in his house. I came to move with no problem. I said, all right, let's go. And I'm not even saying I won, they are. I'm, you know, I'm happy. That was a sparring match to me. But it's 80-20 on the polls and that's kind of high, you know, for the for the away game. But, you know, um, he hurt Lux. That was at Lux's highest point. And Mook said, bring your bitch ass back down here, man. Yeah, so Mook stripped him. Everybody, gonna, everybody has a hard night in battle rap. Thanks to Verb, everybody's had a hard night now. You know, at first it was one person walking around saying they ain't had no hard night. You motherfucker should thank me. I mean, now that the playing ground is flat even, it's even now. Everybody bleeds. You know what I'm saying? So that don't mean nothing. Mook's still a king. But everything he is, that don't change. But, I mean, for me, fuck them. Like, I, I'm, I'm in a different place with my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, see, me and Mook is really cool. So when he decided to suit up, you know, I was like, okay, that's dope. I'm going to do something bad to Lux. So you feel different about Lux than you felt about Mook? Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Uh, it's a it's a fire inside that makes me want to do this to Lux. I want to cripple him in front of y'all. I feel like what you're saying is I feel like what bothers you about Lux so much mm -hmm. is the way that people crown him, and you feel like it's inside. I think I'm just a competitor though. I'm a competitor though. I mean, cause like whoever the best, I want to pull up on him. Yeah, I think he the best. Watch what I do with him. But if it, it feels like like it, it, it bothers you, and not in a bad way, and I say yeah. it's in a bad way, I feel like you're bothered by looking around. You know what you've done. Yeah. Look at what he's done. Oh wait, wait, hold on, wait. Let's back that up. That ain't the same. That ain't the same. The shit I've done is not the same shit of what he's done. No, 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 not saying that's okay. That's what he's done. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. That's what I'm that's different. Yeah. And then you're looking around, and you're going, "This is a nigga, y'all around the game." Yeah. I'm gonna have to show y'all. I'm gonna have to show y'all. But guess what? It's gonna be somebody else after that. They're gonna be okay. Well, you can't do this to Young Jack off from. It really wasn't like that. You know no. Even after. Beat the shit out of him. They love him as a as a, a human being, which is fine. You know, he speaks well. He tells y'all a bunch of big words y'all ain't gonna understand. And, you know, y'all just like, oh, he's the truth. Jay-Z tweeted him, he's still here. So what's your what's your truth? How, how the truth are you? Your Jay-Z tweet you and you still here. Cause I beat shit down a nigga leg who just beat shit down his. That's what. There's no other. Okay, like first he was trying to dodge me, and cause you never listen. You got me on camera, and I'm saying Lux is cold. You never see Lux say verb cold. He dodges that situation every time. Anytime you see Lux on camera speak on verb, he say I'm not something. He lies to himself. But you're here. You know what this is. This ain't no calico type shit, homeboy. You gonna have to fight. This ain't that. Cause I can do what you can do. But I do it in my own way. My shit just a little rougher. You know what I'm saying? I can do what you can do. If I wanna put a bunch of words together that don't make no sense, I can do that shit too. But I, but my shit just a little rougher. It got blades on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, Lux get the Superman image. I'm the one with the crooked ass. And the hair fucked up, that's him, that's me. That's the one that he gonna have to deal with. Like, so I'm not him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he can keep being the people's champion. I'm just a dog. And I'm gonna show y'all what y'all champion ain't. I'm gonna show y'all. Every fucking time. Am I, am I wrong in thinking that the conversation about murder has changed in recent months? In, in this uh, thing, like, well, you know what? Like, ba battle rap is such a, battle rap is a, you hear one phrase and you repeat it. It goes through a pipeline because like one person says something and it just keeps cloning, keeps cloning. So, but it's only for certain people because some people, they sweep shit under the rug on. Like, you ain't never heard nobody, no tranny saying they suck my dick. But certain, certain rappers have been through that shit more than once and they get swept under the rug. Let that would have happened to her. Let that would have happened with Verb. Let 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 it would have been a remote training room on Verb. Let it would have been. But certain people that y'all fuck with, oh, it's okay. This is rap. Oh, okay. Let it would have been Verb. So certain shit flies for certain people. That's the rule here. Certain people don't got to finish rounds. Ever. Look, I've been dealing with URL for 10 years. Never called off. Showed up with three rounds every time and took whatever came from it. Every time. Never called off, never cancellation, nothing. Ain't no war for that. Ain't no war for that, but it's people that can just say, I'm not coming. People that can say, I ain't writing no third round. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. If we doing it, we doing it, right? No cancellations on verb. No postponements on verb. Three rounds every time I'm on stage, no matter what. Y'all don't clap for that. But it, it's some people that can, not come, that can show up with a round and a half, and it's okay, get them next time. You see what I'm saying? So certain shit fly for certain people. You know what I'm saying? But the toughest people get the hardest road. I'm built for whatever. I'm built for whatever come to me. Whatever come to me, what look, I come from, like I'm 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 out the ground with my shit. Nothing can affect me. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you can ask you already, 10 years. Never a cancellation. Whatever happened, happened. Every time. Now you can now you can ask Beasley. Beasley just told me on the phone. 
He said, uh, I'm gonna have to give you a award for that, for real. Because there's not many people that haven't done that. It's only a few of us that done that. You know what I'm saying? So respect that. That's all it is. I mean, I'm with all the smoke, no matter what happened. I took four, I could take five of them in a, I took four people in the same month, man. Didn't bother me at all. And nobody said they beat me clear. Took John John, Big K, Daylight, and Danny Myers. 29 days, 12 rounds. Nobody could say they beat me clear. I mean, well, I mean, well, come on, like that's what I'm saying. So, who I take don't matter. I take four people before Lux. Fuck Lux. What I'm waiting on him for? I saw you put a tweet up a couple days ago where you said, "Yeah, I'll battle me and then go battle in a small league." Yeah, I take you because I don't give a fuck. You think I care about that? I don't. I don't my, when you give a man that much power of you, you already lost. You don't have no power over me. I, I hear none. Anybody want to book me? Book me now. I'm not. I don't have time. I'm not playing with him. Without Calico, I'm still sitting right here. Without Verb, you never see Calico, because the first time y'all saw Verb, Calico was where? In St. Louis, because we invited him to the card. So, what the fuck can you say to me? Not a goddamn thing. So a lot of people respond. I made the call first for Shotgun Shield. He said that on camera. It wasn't ours. It wasn't served. It was Verb. Hey, get him on stage. Yeah, so you can, if you're not affecting nothing, no ripple in my role, well, I mean, people give me, I came in the game, big dog of our region. Cal came in the game, little dude. That's already off. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Cal had the first opportunity with Lux and we stood there with him and cheered him on. Got killed, but I mean, Lux cold. But when it's my turn to get my light, he wasn't with it. But ain't no friends in battle rap like that, man. I fuck with certain people and I, that's just that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I move to myself, you feel me? Like even when all the rappers is out and shit like this, I don't be fucking with them. I go in my own space, I don't. Cause y'all loud, the police gonna come, you're going to jail. You don't have any money on you. He's going. To, I'm not going to deal with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I told Twerk, separate itself. Separate itself, because Twerk in the position to be one of us. Well, every man got their own decision of what they wanted to do. I talked to Twerk. Still got the Texas. I told him, stay by yourself, you become a king. You join, you lose your power. When I came into when when I came into the game, oh, I was offered to join many crews. No. First of all, I don't even know y'all. You may be a child molester, you're a thief. I don't know y'all. I'm in my own world. I know I, I rock with who I rock with. You see what I'm saying? And that's what makes you a king when you stand on your own. Not join a group. You know what I'm saying? Like it hurts us to see Big T with NWX and not getting shined. I mean, you could have stayed where you was. Because Chicago doesn't have, they need that presence. Him going over there removed himself from that. That's why it's Big Cannon World. You see what I'm saying? But that was his presence. He was the, the tower for Chicago. But when you say I'm leaving this and I'm gonna go play with them, so you know, like I would never join nothing. I'm not joining shit. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's now I have mutual battle rappers that we all jam with each other, yeah. but I gotta be in the lead. Yeah. Or I gotta be a partnership kind of thing. I'm not gonna join anything. That's not my style of play. But that works for them. Yeah. You know? I mean for, for K Shine DNA that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. What battle rap does Verb have the most respect? Respectful. I respect them all. Even the ones I don't fuck with. Because I know what it takes to do this. To 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 draw the energy to create raps for a man, I respect them all. Because I, I know what it takes. You gotta shut your life down. You know what I'm saying? You gotta train like a fighter, run and eat differently to get your brain moving. So I respect them all. Even the ones I don't fuck with, which is a lot of them, but you know, 
I respect them all. You caught that, didn't you? Yeah, what you, but I respect them all for how hard it is. Yeah, look, look at look at Mickey Fax. He said, this is draining. Yeah. So what, what is, what is, um, what is Averb's favorite battle? What's, um, what's, what's, what's your battle that if you, if you, if someone came you never watched battle rap and say, you know, I heard about you, I want to watch something. What, what, what battle do you think? I'm gonna say you're a goddamn lie, cause when you came to me already, you knew what I'd done. So, don't come to me and say I want to watch this. What's your favorite battle? You already know the fuck I am, right? So you know what I'm here to do. So you already seen it. So stop fucking lying on me. I don't deal with fake shit. Just say you have seen about. Sometimes people do that just just to spark a conversation. Well, if, you gotta, you gotta have something. I'm gotta numb. I'm numb. I mean, I, I like what I did. Numb. All the same. I don't even remember the raps from the night once they gone. It's business. I don't have like, ooh, I remember. I, ooh, I don't get engulfed in that. Yeah. Who have you faced? All of them. That you that you felt like when it was over. You look back on it now, like man, like he gave me a fight. All of them. All of them. No, nobody stands out. I don't have walkthroughs. I only have maybe about three or four walkthroughs in my whole career. Because when they see me, they gear up in a different level. They know what type of smoke they finna deal with. So I get them at their best, they get me at whatever I felt like doing. Well, what I mean is, yeah. I, I know Hitman stands out differently. Oh yeah, oh, 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 oh. Hitman, I think, we're gonna say meaningful. Yeah. Hitman, Hollow the Don was meaningful because um, it was a test for me. You know what I'm saying? Charlie was meaningful to me because I had to get pushed down to get pulled back up. See, any time in life, before you go up, you gotta get pulled down. You gotta get stripped to come back. It's just like working out. You tear the muscle down to build it back up. So, I don't mind losing before I do something big. I only got like nine clear losses out of 55. It's just people say, oh, he lost too. Tell me, because I ain't lost on the pole yet. Not one. So, I mean, for me, Every night is a hard night. And, and I, when I lose, or if I've lost, I learn from everybody I lost. And I brought that same shit to the next person I saw. When I lost to Charlie, most people get cracked and they go in the house. I was right back up. Come here, Red, let's talk about it. Yeah, let me just let y'all know what kind of dog I really am. That I'ma get hit and I'ma push up and say, what's up? Come here, Red. Oh, oh that ain't enough? Come here, hit, man. Let's, let's, let's go do the hitman thing. Then, then I just went crap. All right, fuck it. Let's go. All right, let's take X Factor. Let's take Rex. Whatever. Because I'm a different animal. Yeah, so I don't mind. Because in every loss, it's a it, it's a lesson. You just got to look through it. Why in the fuck am I bringing my light with you? Like the work I done put in, I'm going to just take one of your rookies and here, come sit with me and make I mean, him. Well, I mean, so there, there's, not, there's, there's not a new guy that you're close to that you want to bring out of the wing and let you learn. No. You put your work in. Go sell your dope. Go smoke some. Like you ain't finna just get in the car with me and nah. You gotta go with what makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, okay. Hey, new guy, you're pretty good. I see your bins, that's nice. But guess what? You can't get in this one. Let's go get you some more. That's how that work. No, that's stupid. I think what'd be exciting is if you pull names. Yeah. That might be different. I just gave y'all gold too. If you put the top guys in the box, yeah. and you put the little guys over there and put them in a the box, and then you just pull their names. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was, I'm sorry, you know what? So, so your, name, your name would potentially be in this box? No, 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 see, you're your wrong. Your name would be in the box. Okay. My name, I go in a, my own box, man, I just told you, eight months, uh -huh. Mook and Lux, yeah. all right? I go over there. Yeah. Then you have the box, and then you have the little box. Since y'all wanna put a hollow Mook and Lux in their own little box. No, I got my own box, I got, I'm gonna sit on the island by myself. Yeah, because none of those guys can say they did what I done. Can Hollow say he seen all of us and arguably beat us all? Okay. Can Lux say he seen all of us and arguably beat us all? Okay. How about Mook? Thanks to who? No. Um, can Disaster say he's arguably beat us all? All right. That's another good motherfucking point, ain't it? Right. So that means my shit is over there. Oh, but I sit over there. Because all the guys that y'all have on the island have clearly lost to somebody. So I'm the Floyd of that. You see what I'm saying? If we're gonna if we're gonna do the the Mount Rushmore, I'm the Floyd of the Mount Rushmore. 
as of right now. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, unless luck's gonna do something to change that. You know what I'm saying? But right now, let's say I've arguably beat all y'all. Yeah, so I go over there. Feel like luck's feel like he want it. Yeah, he want it. Because everybody keep telling him, man, suit up. When you gonna stop running from dude? He's tired of hearing it. You gotta fight. I'm, I, I'm not expecting to, I'm not expecting to walk through him. I'm showing up for a dog fight. Yeah. He better be with it though. Are you aware, have you, have you seen URL's um, new series band? Yeah. Have you seen it? What do you think about it? I think it's dope, for the little guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For, for the new guys. So you, you don't, you, you wouldn't? At this point, uh, no, nah, I don't think so. Not at this point. I like it though. It's dope. I like the the look of it. The that black and white feel. Who thought of that? You know what? See, that's genius. You motherfucker smart because that that thing was cold. It made us more intimate with the rapper. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Did you watch Jack Boy and Steam? Oh, no, you know I'm not watching no shit like that. You watch Twerk and Chess? I did watch Twerk and Chess. Yeah. And that's no knock to Jack Boy or Steam. I'm just not watching that. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I don't watch the new guys like that. I don't because it's like they're carbon copies of like, and I gotta, y'all gotta pardon me. I had like a attention span problem too though. So it's like, most greats had those kind of problems, short attention spans and shit. So I can't watch them if they're doing some shit I've seen somebody else do. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard for me to watch them. Like it's hard as fuck. I'll throw some name tags. Sure. Okay. Oh, oh, Al can rap. Yeah, he can rap. Uh, but I can fix him. I can make him great. So you're saying you can fix him? I can coach all these suckers to be great, though. So what, what do you think is... How would you fix him? How would you fix him? Well, the first thing I would do with Ab is get him away from the people he around. Isolate him. Then he can find out who he is. See, I put him through a training class. Like, no, get away from them. Because... What you around, you become. You know what I'm saying? So I would just look at him. I would change everything about him because he's high skilled with rapping. His thoughts move fast. So he's high skilled with what he's doing. Uh, Louis. I, I don't know what he does. Why would I know that? Like, There's no way for me to know what he does. Like, come on. Like. Clean paper. Clean a star. Clean a star. I don't, but I don't put clean in a box, though. Clean is a, well, he's not a veteran, but he's around. Clean a star, though. So take clean away from them. That's my opinion. Better fucking know it is Vegan Bird. Yeah. Yeah, Vegan Bird. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. These fans. Hey, hold on. Stay right there, fan. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, please. Yeah, one of those fans are going crazy on the, on, he's a fan going crazy because he saw me. Tell me he wanted to buy me some shit. All right, but now, um, yeah, so clean, separate clean from them, those guys. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's yeah. not. Oh, okay, not, okay, it's just, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Gonna be on band All right, cool, like okay, that. cool. Um, young Cannon. About. Just give me an opinion. I like Cannon though. Cannon can rap good. Cannon can rap good. But see, with battle rap, you gotta have more than that though. Like, all of the greats have more than just either you master one thing amazingly or you gotta have multiple moves. You know what I'm saying? So, I think you just need to add something in. Yeah. What about the five? Uh, porn up. <laughs> you know. Let me let me text my PR and ask her, can I say what I want to say first? Because if she give me the green light, I'm gonna say things bad. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's ask her, can I she gonna tell me no. I'm just gonna say, you know, I just don't think that people that got porn addiction should like, like I just don't. You know, Saka hates on me a lot. I don't know why, you know. Christian's supposed to spread love and stupid shit like that, right? So, you know, you know, I don't forget shit. Before I battle Mook, I watched him talk a lot of shit. 
porn hub. So now who's the joke on? Who's the on now, Saga? What are you talking about? Like nut. So And that's a funny one too to me because early when he came in you were very complimentary to Saga. Yeah, he I'm said he was rapping with one arm tied behind Yeah, his back, yeah. Like, like like you know I, I support these men before they come into the game. I support them. But then, you know, they beat a couple of rookies and they start sticking their chest out. You know what I'm saying? So I be having just to, you know, go back in the house, little dog, you know? But I, I, it's just hard for me to embrace Christians talking that kind of shit because I grew up in church, so I know y'all laws. And the Christians don't mingle with the sinners, homeboy. The Christians don't go to packed, dark, evil events with people smoking weed and shit. They don't do that. They separate themselves. So what I believe is, I believe Saga is using the platform to build itself up. So I don't think it's real. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. That's just my opinion, though. You know, he. I mean, I'm. You don't see. Um, okay. Shh. People that are not child molesters don't go hang out in front of schools and mack little girls. So if Saga is hanging around us, we're sinners. We smoke weed and have sex. You with us. So drop the Bible, motherfucker. Go on, get the cussing and come over here. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't half-ass it. You know what I'm saying? Be what you are full throttle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of things in the Christian world that, you know, pedophiles and shit like come over here come sit with us you know what i'm saying let your hair down smoke your weed hit this because you want us so just drop the bible is what i think that's just my thing i may be wrong i'm not wrong often but maybe i am dope My vote for champion of the year is Pat Stay. That's um, Pat Stay is high skilled, and he took high skill matches. Um, between Pat Stay, Geechee Gotti, and K Shine, K Shine got the weakest resume for a top tier. So I know DNA sucking him off, and he like. You know, K-Shine ain't lost a round. With the guys he took, he probably shouldn't. Geechee is a rookie still. Now, he has embodied one of us, I think. But the guys that he's are be beating are guys that he shouldn't beat. Pat Stay took four cannons and arguably beat all of them, including myself. He's seen me, Tay Rock, Arsenal, and... Danny Myers. Let's stop there. That's four cannons in a year's time. Those ain't, that ain't nothing you just play with. And he's more than likely beat us all. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what, we'll, that would be my vote. Because he had a harder road. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you motherfuckers wouldn't clap for me if I took K Shine resume. I told you, I, I turned Jay Mills down. I knew he wasn't going to be ready. That, that fight wasn't Shine's first, it was Varu's fight. I was wondering, because he said yeah. your name a lot of times. It was verb fight. I said no. No. I mean, for me to get up and take dude, it was going to cost so much money because it's a blind fight, too. You don't know what he can do. But he's old. He's watching. He's not. I think Jay Mills should get another shot, though. He was just rusty. But that wasn't his fight, and it wasn't like K-Shine killed him. It was just dude wasn't that good. We, we we know we know when K Shine is cold. I don't hate on anybody. They know I don't hate on nobody. Yeah. When K Shine cold, he cold. Yeah. That K Shine wasn't cold. He, he was just in front of somebody who wasn't shit. Yeah. Okay, so and then he 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 beat e Ness. Okay, um, I rock with Ness, but Ness scary to who? Yeah. I mean, okay, who else he took? He took Young yeah. Cannon. Cannon is still under K Shine. And then who's the other fight? He's still under K Shine. 
So Keshawn didn't see nobody on the same level or higher. Geechee on the other end is, th is here. He took that silly ass, dumb ass shotgun, Suge. He, he jacked it off. But Suge not a five star threat. Like, he live in his own world. Suge. Okay, and who else he took? Tech who? Tech okay, well, okay, Geechee, I was with you for a second, but Tech Nine ain't shit either, but he's still a, a, a veteran. Mm -hmm. So that's two veterans yeah. he could say he took. Give me JC. JC, that's another veteran. But I didn't think he beat JC. I thought it was a good show. Yeah. I thought it was dope. And going line for line with JC is not easy. Yeah. I oh. let me tell you something. I'm not fucking with JC. Not at this age. <laughs> nah. Maybe when I was 26 coming in or some shit like that. No. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what he is. So going line for line with JC. Yes. And what was the other? And then what was the other one? That's another cannon. So, I like his lineup, just my opinion. That's just me. But I will vote Pat Stay because of the level of difficulty he had. And he's from a whole nother country. And all them battles was over here except one. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's my vote. And don't hold me to it, don't, you know, but that's my vote, Pat Stay. As y'all can see, I don't get St. Louis battles no more. Because I could be at 50% and the room gonna shake. It, that's what we had to deal with our whole career. These New York guys be at 40%, the room shake. But we pull up on them and still fight. That's what makes us harder than them. That's what makes me a hitman because we train different. We lift a heavier weight. Like when you at home, it should be smooth sailing, man. It should be, at home is you know everybody here, everybody sound like you. So imagine when you go to New York City and nobody sound like you. You know what I'm saying? Come on, the first time we saw DNA in Detroit, what'd he do? He dropped the motherfucking mic. You ever seen Verb quit? Fuck no. DNA put the mic down and said, it's enough, sucker and sucker tash, this is enough. I'm fucking through. That's what he said. <laughs> that Verb don't do that. Yeah. When they booed me with Charlie, I didn't stumble a word, motherfucker. You're going to have to take this from me. Take it from me. It's a different dog. Now, DNA has became a dog, though. He a dog now, though. You know, like, his material to me be, uh, you know, Dr. Seussish, but, you know, he a dog, though. You know, he like a, DNA like an angry chihuahua to me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't be all feisty and snapping and shit. That's kind of what he is to me. You know you what I'm saying? Miss the whole game? No, I don't miss anything. Suit up. I don't miss it. I, I, listen, if I don't make it, something is really wrong. No, I mean, if you ever miss it, like, Nah, it's too easy. I don't like shit easy. You know what I'm saying? I, I I just don't. I'd rather try to fuck a nun than a hood rat because it's more challenging to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like being in St. Louis, I can say anything. But it, it's worse because in St. Louis, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to be on, on a, a hundred. So the room's going to shake double time. Somebody that experiences that is Cortez. He kind of learned how it went. You know, um, that was the last person that said, I'm going to pull up and deal with this shit. You know, that floor shakes, they rumble. It's like Troy when you come out there. When I go on stage, the building shakes because I'm their king. You understand what I'm saying? I'm their king. So they know if, if somebody is talking about rapping, oh, no, you got to go see our king. You see what I'm saying? So Cortez told me at the event, that's my boy. He told me, man, I'm going to kill you. I said, shut up get this shit done so fat. And it was vicious. And Cortez said in his interview, I've never felt like that before. Yeah, so don't come fucking with me. Yeah. So just don't come to my city and do that. Cause it's not gonna work. Yeah. What you know? killed me was, you'd have battlers out to, out to St. Louis, beat the shit out of them, and then hang out with them for the rest of the weekend, like yeah. show them a good time. I do it to everybody. Yeah. I hang with them. You know, like, come on, y'all wanna go get something to eat or whatever, yeah. Cause I mean, what I just did to you don't matter. You know, oh, what well, matters for you, because the plane ride gonna be different, but I'm gonna tell y'all, losing, losing is a painful thing when you when you are in your ego. When I lost to Charlie, I threw up outside of McDonald's because I knew he wasn't that good. But that was my first time experiencing hate like that, because I'm used to being loved. But God told me, I gotta humble you down, I gotta make you harder than them. So you're gonna have to hit the floor a few times. 
I wasn't ready to hear that though. Cause I'm listening to Charlie material and I'm like, he not talking about nothing. But then I, I went outside. I, I went to McDonald's and threw up. That was a combination of us not having no food, Beasley. It's a combination of us having the out of town guys get to the event at 12 and I don't rap till one in the morning without a bite to eat, you know, but I was sick to my stomach because I never felt that feeling. Yeah, so losing affects people differently. Why do you think your crowd chose Because I talk that shit because I don't give a fuck. I don't bend. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm a different type of... I'm not, I, I, didn't, I came in the game. I don't give a fuck what y'all can do. And so if I, I didn't want to be humble, I didn't come in the game to be y'all friends. I came in the game to prove that I'm one of the best rappers in the world. So I wasn't going to bend and say, yes, you guys are great. Fuck y'all. Suit up. I wear this red hat. I wear this cardinal hat. I don't care what y'all wear. That was my attitude, and that's what it is still. You know, it's about respect, but at the same time, I'm a competitor. So I don't come in and knob nobody off just because they are from a city. Nah, you got to prove that to me. Show me who you are. Talk to me about um, Cassie. What about? We got, we got you think he fucked that dude. That's why you asked me that. You think he fucked that dude. That's why you asked me that. Nah, nah, you ain't got no reason to ask me no goddamn Cassidy, man. You asked me about Cassidy because you think he fucked that dude. Nah, we got, we got a um, good, good I'm, I'm well aware. All right. Yeah. We got another, for the first time, we got an industry artist coming to you already. But is he industry? Is he, is he industry? Prior. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that he's industry. Yeah. Now, but that's what, he, that's what he, he's most known for. Right? All right. What do you think about trying to make the transition but he's coming to do it here he, he tried to i think it's dope for cash though to come that's dope i think it's dope that cash came you know to come try to see what's up you know good's my boy though so it's like i know what he on i know what he gonna be on yeah. so it's like you know good let me tell you something goods is almost family like with us you see what i'm saying so i know what goods is gonna be on yeah. you know um how can i how, how can i explain I wouldn't have took him, but you know. You said my ass cash, you wouldn't have took goods? Or if you was I think I'd have took a warm up first okay. and then dealt with that. You know, I know what it's like dealing with goods. I shot goods in his head and he and kept going. So it's like, ah, oh, nah. Yeah. Like, you know, like the shit I was coming at him with was shaking the floor. And he stood there. You could tell he was a little uptight, but it wasn't like, he was like, Shh, yeah. what's up? Yeah, so, you know, I, because I, I've experienced that, I know what it's like, you know. So, what, what do you think all these industries, these guys that come from the industry? Fuck them. Listen, let me explain this to you. We need to just separate ourselves from them. Like, everybody be trying to be their friends. Fuck them. Quit clapping for them. Man, I, if I gave you my phone right now, you'll see five star stars that, that tweet me. Man, your album crazy. But did you tweet it, motherfucker? No, you didn't. So, I don't even. Okay, thanks. Yeah. They don't fuck with us. Yeah. They need to be over there. We need to be over here. You see what I'm saying? We have enough of a fan base to do what we want to do over here. But everybody want to be them. I don't care about being them. Yeah. I don't care. I'm I, I'm proud when I say I'm a battle rapper. I'm an MC. I tell, I tell me and BC talk, I tell me all the time that a lot of the battle rappers, like battle rappers, it's like the MMA. Yeah. The MMA fight. But a lot of the battle rappers want to be professional boxers. Not realizing that MMA is a multi-million dollar thing. I'm but but dollars. but but it's a blessing to be able to say you can't play with me with them you can't play with me. Yeah, That's a blessing. That's like people look at that as they get in interviews and say, oh them battle rap. No 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 no. Because some of the biggest artists in the world about it, Eminem comes from that cloth. Yeah. Yeah, Meek Mill embraces that cloth. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, but they not Meek Mill ain't jumping on records with battle rappers and shit like that. Yeah. yeah so they separate themselves. Separate yourself. You know what, what I'm saying? That the, that the artists coming into battle rap are making. Why, why aren't they really seeing success? The industry ones? They ain't shit. Because this ain't for them. Like, we gotta fight for ours. Yeah. No, nah, this ain't for them. Like, when you come over and say you wanna deal with us, you dealing with an animal. No, nah, stay away from that. Separate yourself from that, man. Like, because it don't mean that you're a bad rapper. This just not for you. You know, I, like, I look at things differently, man. Like, you know, I love being who I am, who I'm picked to be. Every day I wake up, I'm happy to say, I, I, I love who I am. 
because being able to have this ability is a gift. You know how many people would love to have this ability? A lot of them. You don't think one of these auto-tune rappers would love to say, I can say cold shit? Yeah. And then, you know, like, it's just, once we get our opportunity, we don't need an industry opportunity. My album sells fine right now. I just don't go around talking and saying, here, look at me. Oh, wow, I don't do that. Sells fine. You it's know. Funny from the, from the talk about from the early days, like this weird reputation of battle rappers and fake music. Yeah. yeah. We were talking about a lot of that. We were just going through videos. Yeah. Shit of bad battle yeah. rappers who were making like solid, solid records. Yeah. Hit me in Hollow. I got a script. The show, the show story. Uh huh. What's that? The Hit me in Hollow song where he's, he's rapping about so, um, rubber being kidnapped. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that, that is a cold song. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it just depends on what you like, it's what you want to put in your ears. I mean, because, you know, an auto-tune driven rapper don't go in my ears. That don't mean that he's trash. I think, honestly, the biggest problem is the fans. The fans say, we just want you to be a battle rapper. No, nah, I think it's the battle rappers. Battle rappers? Yeah, because they don't unite. We in control. We in control of what they think. You know what I'm saying? They're programmable. We can tell them, no, this is what we doing. Go get that Arsenal album. Go get that Verb album. We can tell them that. And they're going to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But every battle rapper wants to be, oh, I'm not like y'all. Well, don't come get the money from over here then. Stay over there and go sell your mixtapes. If you're not like us. But that's it's, it's a lot of egos that come into play with battle rap. Too many egos, man. Like, the, No, no, I'm done with trying to unite with people because it's like, they don't listen. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you gotta learn a different way. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I hustle and be quiet. I don't do what they do. I don't post everything, look at me. I don't do that. I don't buy followers. And I know, please don't play with me because I expose y'all. I don't buy followers, I don't buy views, I don't do any of those things. I just keep it real with myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't lie, I don't pay the $50 a month to make everything blow up on your page. It's a lie to yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do that, you know? But at the same time, you know, once we realize that we can work together, things will be different. Target. Yeah, like once we, once we, that's, right that's y'all man. That's that, look like a sheep to me. That's a sheep, that's a sheep to me. That's a what to you? Sheep, you didn't even look me in the eyes. It's a sheep. That heart said, that's daddy. Yeah, that's me, and I antagonize him. Cause see, once I smell fur, I stay on your head. He look, he he looked, and he's here on everything. Because you know why? It's the fur. It's a possibility of fur that went through him. Like yeah, that's the man right here that could fuck your whole world up. I can make in a couple months. I can make the whole world say you ain't shit. Because you gotta beat me. Cause I'm the thorn. You gotta beat me. You're not. But you have to. You gotta put Verb down. Because Verb talked this shit. And you also know if I can say I arguably beat both of y'all gods, you know I'm not gonna stop talking. Right? Wow. Can you, can, you be, can you be the villain and be on the Mount Rushmore? Yeah, I can be whatever the fuck I wanna be. Because I don't care about people anyway. I'll tell you, man, fuck you sucking my dick, it is what it is. Because I'm not trying to be. I'm humble for my positioning, but I've never been a sucker, though. So, disrespect only brings more disrespect. I think that's fair. Yeah. You step on my shoe, I step on yours. But people never remember what they did to get something done. They never do. They just play the victim. Oh, he did this to me. But what the fuck did you do to make that man step on you? That's how I feel. Greatly. You feel like... With everything that you've been through and then analyzing and getting prepared for the battle, do you feel like they've been stuck in kind of the same patterns that they've been doing, or do you feel like they've evolved as well? As, you? Nah, they get Superman is cold when they see me. They get the best they ever seen. Was this not the best move you ever seen? Yes, oh, wow. the fuck it was. This wasn't the best move you ever seen. Tell me something he said. Against Lux. 
Oh, so the iron shit was cold? I mean, but what well, I'm saying, this is the most, this is the most skilled lyrically he's ever been. Because he know what he was gonna deal with. He know he's dealing with a rapper. But see, when I took Mook, I didn't, my, my game plan wasn't to pin with him. I knew he was gonna try to pin with me. I wanted their hearts. I didn't care about pinning with him. I could do that with anybody. Because pin on pin does this. Now I want their hearts. That's why when I said, you're not one of us. Who did you bring on your podcast? Not one of us. Chill in the room, because they all said yes. I played on the emotion. See how I thought this situation. It wasn't about pinning in that moment for me. For him it was. Like that man there, he got an amazing pin. He has an amazing pin. We gonna find out what that motherfucker can do. I'm gonna bend that bitch. Cause there ain't no spoon with me. I'm, I'm gonna bend it in front of y'all. And then I want all y'all to say, bow y'all heads. Cause y'all not gonna see this again. You're not gonna see this great again. I've done this, man. I opened the door for a whole region. Number one. Without me, this a lot of shit don't happen. I'm the first rapper to get both of y'all guys to come outside in under a year. First. You understand it? I'm also the first to be booed. I'm also the first one that brought you the Big Girl moment with Holla. That he stole and brought to Calico. Ask about that. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, nothing. You know, in this day and time, stealing is okay. You know, to these people. You know, cause, but he did shout me. He said, you remember when Bird checked the child? He didn't say I stole that from Bird. You know, but I'm the first to do a lot of different things. Man. So, my, my, my history with this game is very, very good. You know, I'm the first to do a lot of shit. I'm the first to call the coin toss out the air. I'm the first to do that. That was in 2009 with Grind Time versus Mall 1. The bitch went up, I called it and said, I'll go. Then you start seeing people do that. You know what I'm saying? So, my, my, my history is impeccable. And I'm gonna close the chapter with this one last little bullet I gotta do. And you motherfuckers can bet against me. Yeah, yeah, we heard it. This is one more thing I gotta do. One more thing I have to do. Anything else would be opinionated. But it's one more thing I gotta do, and it's right there. One more thing. It's just one more. I gotta put the Tupperware top on one more. And then I'd be satisfied with everything I done done. Seen all the greats. I thought I beat him, because I am gonna beat him. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna be shit down his leg. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna go like how y'all think, man. Like I told people with moves, it's not gonna go like that. It's not. You know, because skill-wise, guess what? I'm the underdog in this fight. Everybody loves Lux. That's beloved. You better be with it. Or it's going home. And the shit that I'm gonna talk afterwards, baby. Now, I didn't talk no shit after Mook. I was really nice. No interviews, none of that shit. I had one interview and it was like 18 seconds. I know. Yeah, like, yeah, thank you for the opportunity. I'm ready to go. I got shit to do. It was all planned out. I knew I wasn't going to disrespect him or nothing because he didn't have to take the fight. He has to take the fight. So, y'all better not let me crack him because I'm going to talk a lot of shit, fellas. So, if you're a Lux fan, you might want to tweet him. And you might want to tell him, hey, listen, don't be playing with dude, man, because I ain't got time to be hearing this shit. You know, because it's so crazy. You know what's so crazy? Before I battle uh, Mook, you know, all these guys was against me. Game, Dame Dash, LL, Raekwon. As soon as it was over, I'm, I'm hitting them like, hey, where all that shit go? Why all y'all posts come down? What, what, what we doing? What, what's up, fellas? Buster Rhyme still ain't talked to me. He know me well. He, he still ain't talked to me. So I'm like, fellas, hey, guys, like, just two hours ago, y'all was saying fuck me. Why y'all post down? Nobody wanna talk to me. Yeah. Same thing gonna happen. I promise you it. I smell fear, I smell blood. I can smell it from here. Because this is the first time he's been in front of a wild card. Been in front of a stone maniac. See, I'm a maniac, I'm gonna keep coming. I've displayed maniac tendency over and over and over and over again. Stone maniac. This is the first time he's dealing with a real clubber lane. You know what I'm saying? Shut up Creed, you know, all that. That's who I am. It's the first time he's dealing with somebody saying, you ain't shit, man. But I don't think we ain't gonna do no rematch. We're gonna do one in the head. Whatever happened, happened. But I'm not I'm not underestimating his talent at all. That boy is special. But I'm gonna show y'all how special we are. Right, hold on real quick. Rob, can you check the recorder and make sure the batteries are still rolling and everything? Yeah. Please, sir. Yeah, it's 
good. Still good. We've been we've been out here for a minute now. Yeah. <laughs> real long time. Yeah. I'm real ready to wrap it up. Whatever y'all want to do. Anything left to say? I can't imagine what the hell else I got left to ask. Hey. You guys. Right. I'm. Last question. Yeah, sure. It's all said and done. Yeah. Herb doesn't wrap another round. Like, not, not, like you officially hang it up. I, I'm gonna come back. The money right. No. If you don't wrap another round. What are you going to let? I just want to represent the dog. I want to represent the person that don't have the big buildings to go to to get record deals. Because where I come from, it ain't that. We don't got nobody helping us. In St. Louis, we are stars. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get put out the mall when we go. Come down and see. The first time they came to St. Louis, they saw what was out there with us. Pack, event, hoes, hurry down their back. We they stars. You know what I'm saying? We don't have, I don't have nobody I can call and say, can you help me do this? We don't got that. Nelly don't do that. So we don't have that. You understand what I'm saying? So we have to get ours out the ground. You understand? Yeah. So I represent the person that don't have opportunity. I represent the person that knows what he is, knows how special he is, but can't display it. I represent him. And I'm always represent him, every single time. Look, look right in the camera. Last thing you want to say to Lux. Well, Lux, I'm just gonna see you soon, bro. Like, um, you know, you're a special talent, you know. I'm happy that you decided to suit up, and I'm looking forward to getting in the ring with you. More than what you think, too. Yeah, so can't wait to see you, Lux. I, hey, look, you know, shout out to Lux. I appreciate you. No, I don't appreciate it. You're supposed to do this. You know what I'm saying? You're a fighter. This is what you're supposed to do. So I'm glad that now we get to display to the world, finally, uh, who we are. We're going to find out who do what. If I fall, I'm going to tell you I fell. I fell before, and I have no problem with falling again. But I tell you this, you're gonna have to take this from me. I'm gonna be prepared to die on stage, okay? So you're gonna have to take this from me. Okay, buddy? Vegan verb. This Saturday, June the 8th, the long-awaited grudge match that the world has been waiting to see will finally take place as Loaded Lux and a -Bird take center stage to settle their differences officially, along with five other spectacular matchups for one of the culture's biggest events, URL's Gnome 9. Make sure you have a front row seat by ordering this action-packed event live on pay-per-view at WatchBattleLive.com. Then, on Saturday, June the 8th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, tune in with the rest of the world to witness the culture's biggest names as they go to war on URL's known now. The vibe, the energy, the feel, it lives in one place. URL's known now. Don't miss history. Be a part of it. URL, the worldwide leaders 